video demonstration shows the high-level end-to-end process of submitting a well license application. For details on fields, please refer to Directive 56, Manual 12, and our other one-stop training videos for guidance. Log on to your one-stop landing page. Click Initiate. Select New Application. Complete the general contact information or consultant contact information as necessary. Click Next. Complete the general application information page. As you progress through the application, fields will expand when more information is needed. On any page, you can click Validate to see where there may be errors or information missing. You can also click Save to save your application as a draft. Click Next. Complete the general proposed activity page by clicking on the boxes. Click on the blue circles to view additional information or tips and tricks. Click Next. Complete the general additional information page by clicking on Yes or No. All fields marked with an asterisk are mandatory. Click Next. Complete the general activity details page. Under Well Licenses, select the Add button to start a new well application. Select Wells from the Application Type drop-down menu. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Click Next. On the Wells Overview page, attach your shapefile. If you require assistance with shapefiles, please refer to the Quick Reference Guide named Import Digital Spatial Data into OneStop Well Licenses. It provides detailed instructions around uploading shapefiles. If you require a template to build your shapefile first, click Shapefile Templates. To submit, click Submit Shapefile. Click View on Map button to see the location of your well on a map. Once the shapefile has been uploaded, the well information appears in the Well Location Attributes grid. How many wells are displayed is reflective of what has been read from the shapefile you uploaded. If this is a multi-well application, all well information contained in the shapefile will be displayed in the grid. Each well will be assigned its own activity ID. Ensure all wells you expect to file as part of this application appear in the grid. Click the Analyze button. A message displays on the lower right-hand corner of the screen to confirm the analysis has been successfully completed. If the application is on freehold land, a lease boundary shapefile will also be required. The surface rights are populated through the spatial analysis of the shapefile against the GIS map layers. When surface rights are Alberta Crown, a public land approval section appears and the information must be confirmed or completed. For more information, please search our YouTube channel for the video on One Stop Training Well Licensed Public Land Approval. Attach the survey plan. Enter the date of the survey. It cannot be more than one year old. Click Next. On the Wells Wells Detail page, you will see multiple surface locations in the Wells Activities grid if this application is for a multi-well pad or oil sands exploration program. For a single well application, you will only see one surface location. If this is a multi-well application, the Well Details section will need to be filled out for every well. Grayed out fields cannot be changed as they were generated from the shapefile. Click the Generate Well Name button to add a system generated name. Discretionary information can be added to the well name. To move to the next well in the grid, click on that row and it will be outlined in blue. Complete all fields for each well. Click Validate at the top or bottom of the screen to check your data. Click Next. Fill out the Well License Details page. If this is a multi-well application, the information entered on this page and the rest of the application 
must apply to all wells in the application. If D56 requirements will not be met or variance is requested, then you will be prompted to attach additional information. Complete the Participant Involvement Requirements section with all required information and attachments. If a two-year license term is requested, a commitment pop-up will appear that you must agree to. Complete the Purpose section with all required information. In the Classification section, enter all information for the proposed well classification, confidential status, and drill cuttings. For more information on drill cuttings, please search our YouTube channel for the video on one-stop training, well license, drill cuttings. Complete the mineral rights, surface impacts, additional information, and operational disclosure sections, attaching all supporting documentation when required. Click Next. Complete or confirm the Working Interest Participants page, ensuring interested parties add up to 100%. For more information on working interest participants, please search our YouTube channel for the video on one-stop training, well-licensed working interest participants. Click Next. On the Wells H2S information page, click Yes or No to indicate if the wells in this application are expected to encounter H2S. When you choose Yes, additional information is required. If H2S is expected to be encountered, please search our YouTube channel for the video One Stop Training, Well Licensed, H2S Information. Click Next. The Confirmation Validation Rules page displays any validation errors and which business rules are triggered and the results. Sections that have unresolved validation errors or missing information are listed in the Validation section. Click on the gray box in a row to take you back to the page where the error has occurred. The Rules Triggered section displays the business rule outcomes. Baseline review means that a manual review of the application is not required. In a multi-well application, business rule outcomes are displayed separately for each well. Click Next. The declaration and disclaimer statement appears as the final step in submitting your application. Click Accept Disclaimer. Then click I Agree to proceed. When you select I Disagree, the application is not forwarded to the AER but remains as a draft application. Click Save and Submit Application to register your application with the AER.